Jeff Ferris on the Hot Homestead. Today, I rewired this little Harbor Freight 4x8 trailer. It's only a thousand pound trailer. It's a great little utility trailer. But let me explain why I'm rewiring it. Because the trailer folds. I have it sideways right now, but the trailer actually folds right here. Here's the hinge on it folding. But if you look right here, let me see if I can find it here. I don't know if you can see this one right here. But that is pinched right there. And the other one's pinched on the other side. So, I cut it. But, the pinching caused a short. So when it caused a short, I had turn signals, I had brakes, but I did not have any tail lights. So I went to Harbor Freight, and I just bought this for like six bucks. It's basically 25 feet of wire, I don't need 25. Came with some instructions. Really simple, I put all the extra wire, instead of cutting the extra wire, I just stuff the extra wire right there that should hold and I just rewired the whole trailer there's the old stuff and the extra ground wire but it was very simple one thing though I got to caution you on if you are going to do this is these guys here are fantastic the only problem that I had was this wire this replacement wire is so incredibly thin I think it's gauge 22 which is actually thinner than the one that it trailer came with I think this is 16 maybe maybe 18 so anyhow when I use this it actually once I tugged onto the hair it actually cut the wire in half so I didn't have a connection obviously so I went with your standard See if I can show you. Where is it? I went with a regular tie like that. And that did just fine. Everything works. But that's rewiring a Harbor Freight trailer. Another caution on these Harbor Freight trailers, check this out. See what I did there? Well, the reason why I did that was because this plate right here actually cracked right there all the way through so it doesn't hold properly I have it on order so I'll get another one but I think I'm going to have someone with um, a thicker iron to actually do that because this is some soft metal I don't know it's like thick aluminum so I'm going to have someone make me one or I'll make one. I don't know how to make one. I don't have any tools to cut and drill in the metal. So I'll pay someone a couple bucks to do it, I guess. But right now I have this makeshift deal and it holds. So that's one caution when you put too much weight on this Harbor Freight trailer. That you run the risk of that guy there breaking. And that is the release so that this thing here will fold down as you fold your trailer. I don't fold the trailer anymore. Just because I'm on five acres, so why do I need to fold it? If you're in the city or you have storage restraints, then folding it's pretty awesome. But yeah, I just wanted to go over the wiring. That's why I had to rewire it, because when you fold it, I pinched the wires and lost my lost my tail lights. Everything, all the other lights worked. But rewiring it was super simple. All I did was just take the kit and string it on through. Rewiring a Harbor Freight trailer, piece of cake. There's my ground. And I just electrical tape these together. Kind of help extend the lifespan as it exposed to the sun piece of cake. I bet you're also wondering 
How the heck did I get that sideways? Did it with pure muscle, dude. I'm He-Man, master of the universe. That's pretty old, huh? When was those cartoons? Anyhow, so the Harbor Freight trailer, there's these clamps. And with these clamps, they actually hold the wire and then they just pinch to the side of the framework. And you just tr strategically place these around. I got that one. There's a new one that the kit comes with. So the kit came with six of these. And it also came with, uh, with six of these guys. And also six of these guys. And then it came with an extra four feet of some wire that you can connect onto the end and extend it for some reason. Not too sure why I would need that. Guess maybe in some kits you might need it, but anyhow. Harbor Freight Trailer. Jeff Arizona Hot Homestead rewiring a Harbor Freight four by eight thousand pound capacity trailer super simple just buy a kit for six bucks it's easy to wire but why would you wire it well because you pinch the wires when you folded it and unfolded it and so now you have a short don't forget to like subscribe comment Jeff Arizona Hot Homestead talk to you later